Hello, Rob Attaway, Clerk of the Course for Formula Student. And today's briefing is for Sunday Endurance Event. And it's the final one of the trio of briefings of which you should have listened to the previous two. This is solely about the endurance event that's happening on Sunday. And it is from 10 o'clock on Sunday morning with a, uh, a finish time of hopefully before four o'clock, but we do have time that we can go up to four o'clock this afternoon, but with a short break, maybe at lunchtime between 12 and one o'clock, something like that. Right, so the endurance um, is the endurance to get onto the entrance queue is the same as the sprint was that was uh, described in the uh, previous briefing and it is at the end of the pit lane by the gates at the end of the pit lane going into the pit uh, going out to the circuit onto the circuit and we you was, uh, wait there in the order that you have been selected because the selection of the start order of the endurance is done from your uh, times etc on the sprint when we're ready to call you forward, we will bring you forward to the start area of the endurance. Again, the same as the sprint. And you will wait there until we're ready to let you go on to the track. In a similar way to yesterday, the course is marked with uh, coloured cones. And as with the sprint, there is yellow to the left, green to the right, red in the center as a slalom and again you can drive that as you wish and we have a new color cone for the endurance which is a blue cone which is used as an overtaking bay and i'll explain that further when i get into the into the flags so it is appreciated that many of you are motorsport competitors and uh, you understand hopefully the, the what the flags are so this is the so this is the flags we're going to be using at this event so but i make no apologies to reminding motorsport competitors what the flags are but it's important that you just remind yourself of what the flags are as i go through that and it's also um, new information to people who do not follow or take part in motorsport. So the first flag we see is a green flag. And this is a flag indicating that when you're on the start line, you are clear to start your run. Or we may be using red and green lights to, to create a start indicator. It does not mean you go immediately, you see the green light, but it's an indication that the course is clear and we're ready for you to go on to the course. There is another reason for this green flag in the endurance is that it is an indication that if you are in the blue overtaking lane, and I'll explain more about that in a little while, you are clear to exit the overtaking lane but please be aware that if you are in the overtaking lane and one car passes you on track and you don't see a green flag, there may be another car following that quicker car. So wait to see the green flag, please. Next flag is a yellow flag. And as with the sprint, if it's held stationary, there is something in front of you on the track it could be a car that stopped. It could be a car that spun. It could be a car that's off track and marshals are in attendance. So if it's stationary, it's the danger is low to you. So just slow down and just give, ensure you've still got full control of your vehicle. So if you need to um, slow down or take evasive action, if that flag is waved, then you are able to do that without having trouble yourself by spinning or indeed going off track. Sometimes called the oil flag, sometimes called the slippery flag, the red and yellow striped flag is an indication 
that there's a change of surface ahead. It may be dry, the circuit, the weather may be dry, but there may be some oil, there may be some water, there may even be some gravel or debris on the track. And similarly to the yellow flag, if it's stationary, yes, it's just look out for what we're trying to tell you on course. If it's waved, it's imminent that you're going to go over it and so therefore you need to be aware of what's there. So you need to look out for what's on the road to see that you can drive through it or over it sufficiently safely. Come on to overtaking bays, and I've already mentioned the blue cones. We can see there that we've got uh, some yellow cones on the left of the driver, and uh, the green cones are being are being replaced by this blue overtaking bay. When you see, when you walk around and you see that uh, these cones, it's very clear where the entrance to the overtaking bay is. And what this is used for is if you are considered to be a slow driver compared to other competitors on track, then you will be shown a blue flag. It may be supplemented by blue lights. It does mean there's another competitor is following close behind you and wants to get by you. And the way this happens in Formula Student is that you as a slower car will pull into the overtaking lane and you will wait for that green flag to continue to come out the other side of the blue overtaking bay. But I've, I've just mentioned that if you see one car past you that goes by and you don't see a green flag, there may be another car that needs to overtake you before you come out of that blue overtaking lane. So blue flag means pull into the blue overtaking lane. Green flag means Yes, it's clear to exit that blue lane and continue on your endurance event. Red flag. Don't want to see many of these at the event because it does mean something serious has happened. If you see this flag around the course, you need to stop driving at racing speed and proceed slowly without overtaking anybody or anything round to the start line where my marshals will guide you where to go and how do we how do we reline up to restart the event so if there is if the track is blocked and marshals stop you please obey their instructions and be prepared to stop and maybe just avoid the um, the, the, the the blockage and go outside the course to come back to the start line white flags it does mean a service car or a slow moving car is on circuit. If there's a service car on circuit, we've probably pre emptied that with a red flag uh, because there's something serious on the track that I need to attend to or my marshals need to attend to. Or indeed, there might be a slow moving car. There might be a co another competitor's car who is ready to stop, but he doesn't want to stop himself. So he's just going to wait until he runs out of whatever petrol or, or mobilization. So the red, white flag will be waved to indicate the sector of the track that the slow moving vehicle is in and held stationary whilst it's in the next sector. So you will see this wet, waved white and stationary white proceed around the track as indeed the car is. A black and white diagonal flag. It does mean that your driver, your driving has been brought to my attention, i.e. you may be overdriving the car, you may be knocking over too many cones, you may not be adhering to the blue flag uh, because you're a slower car or we, want, we would like you to go into the blue bay, blue coned bay so that somebody can go past you. It does mean that your dri your Driving is being observed, and um, I would want you, please, to improve your driving standards so that it becomes more in keeping with the event, and you're not in drive, you're not overdriving the car. A black flag with an orange dot disc, sometimes called a sometimes called a meatball flag. 
This means that there is a mechanical problem with your car. You may not know it. There might be something loose and hanging from the car. You may be dripping oil. You may be dripping water. Or more importantly, you may be dripping fuel. So what this flag means is that when you see that, you will come into the driver change area. And that means that we can talk to you, see what's full, see what's loose, see what's dripping, and then scrutineers and myself will see whether we'd like you to go back out on the course again because we've understood what the problem is or the potential problem, and indeed you can continue. It may be that the the reason for the black and orange flag is severe enough that you will not continue. So it says it there, apparent mechanical failure or a fire which may not be obvious to you. So enter, come into the driver change area for inspection. Yes, I've added that in there. So if you're aware of the problem, a fire or loss of law, please stop on the track and my marshals will attend to you. If it's a fire, we'll try and put that out. So without uh, further damage uh, with the fire extinguishers we have. A black flag. We've also meant, already mentioned the black and white flag that you're driving has been brought to my attention. If your driving has been brought to my attention and I'm interested into understanding why you're driving in such a manner, I will arrange for this black flag to be shown to you. Again, that indicates to you that I'd like you to pull into the driver change area where I will talk to you. And depending on how, how interesting I've been with your driving, I may talk to you very slowly. Or I may not talk to you at all. I may just ask you some questions. But what that's really doing it's giving you a time penalty because of your driving behavior, your misdemeanors. So if it's not, if it's below an expected standard, we will um, arrange for that flag to be shown to you and I will provide direction and talking to you and give you some education. Checkered flag. This indicates the end of your session. So you come off the course into the driver change area and there's either you're either changing a driver or you've already done that. So it's the end of your end of your event. So you've done your two driver stint on the endurance. And if it's a, if it's the second driver going into the into the car, then you will when you're fully uh, uh, belted in and comfortable, you'll come up to the driver start area, car start area, and the sequence starts again with the green flag, green lights. Now, the question I'm often asked is, is there a last lap board, last lap flag? No, this event does not have a last lap flag. Where we show the uh, checkered flag to you, there is sufficient time for you to stop and pull into the driver change area without doing another lap. So that's the end of my trio of briefings. Um, I trust that they've all been, uh, you've understood what I've been trying to say to you and uh, you know, have a good event and I'm around at the event if anybody's got any questions of me. Thank you very much.